Hi, welcome to this computer system. We're going to make an article for articlemixiso.com. You know by now that we have this little application that we install, or we can install, this is called uFetch. If you do a yay, uFetch, it's installed. It's one of our applications that we install in the fun script. Okay, so articlemix.com, fun script. Now I have added something new. I've created an uFetch Arco kit. Now I will also explain how I did it. So that's also a uh, tutorial that can be useful to learn. And it's definitely going on ArcLinuxISO.com. So it's a phase six kind of thing. But of course you can use it right now. So what happens? What, what did happen just a few hours ago? Control T. You type you fetch, right? You installed it and you get this. But when we were looking into the detail and looking at the source, we went to the website and this is where the developer, YSCHX, has uh, hosted his code. And in here, what do I find? I find a you fetch Arco. Three months ago, Augustus Augustus 20th. 2018 he made something for us and we did not know it shame so three months ago he created this and i made a package from it so this code is coming from him the only thing i did was made i was making this thing Arco. so this is his creation now the only thing we are going to cover then is how to make from this thing here a package Okay, what was the procedure I went through? First of all, I installed uFetch and in the cache, in yay, let's delete it. Let's only keep yay uFetch, that's how we started. And number one was not existing, right? So number two, uFetch you fetch git was there. I said, okay, yay, build it for me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, when that's done, in Yay, you'll find a package or a folder, you fetch git, and everything you need is in here. Don't need the GitHub version here, this git thing. So, Control H. Let's make it not too complex. Basically, this is what you need, the package build. So, I took a look at what's in here, and Duffy Deck is creator or maintainer of this um, package build and he's going to name it you fetch kit package name and what I did I don't know if we can go oh, that's the wrong thing to close I guess let's try again so close everything else close other tabs so what we need to do is change elements in here so that it becomes a you fetch dash arco well, I was thinking rather than building it from scratch, just showing you what the difference is. I think that can be educational as well. So super F5, you know the tool, melt. Then you put it on the other screen. I have two screens, okay. So this one is the original one. I'm just dumping it, dumping it from here to here, drag it in here. I'm gonna drag in here the result. Result is in the Arco Linux package build third party because it's our package builds, but it's the one from him. You fetch Arco. That one goes in here. So I have mine to the left. Uh, sorry, the, his to the left and mine to the right. I always do it like this so I know this thing is for me. So the package build, I added the URL, where it's from, my name in case anybody wonders. And then instead of naming it uFetch kit, I named this package uFetch Arco kit because I want to be able to use both of them. I could replace it and say, okay, and then, and no, then users would get a conflict if they wanted to install yay from um, uFetch from, from AOR. So now, 
we do not have a conflict because the name is totally different. For the computer, this is super different, right? Dash Arco. It provides the package name ufetch. It's still the same name, but take a good look. Here is an underscore, meaning it's going to take ufetch. Here is no underscore, meaning it's going to take ufetch arco git. So here the, it starts to differ because I don't want to, if I make a package, to make a conflict between one package and the other. And then the last thing, he is going to write elements into the license folder since it's created for Arco Linux. We have our own folder with our own licenses, with our own package name. And this thing is a variable that's up here. So he's going to fill it up with ufetch arco git slash license and this is his license so we are keeping his license and yes we've checked everything is okay it's cool we can reuse it and um, all is good that way and the last thing is you fetch arch no not arch but you fetch arco so go get me and fetch me the arco script that we just saw and put it in the user bin you fetch arco and that's super that's all we need, small changes to make sure that it works. So similarly, if you want to say, hey, I'm going to build me, uh, I closed it. If you want to build something for another distro, let's uh, make a package, then you'll see. So if I say make it open a terminal here and make a package, he's going to get everything. And there are two things always. There is the thing that you download as a source and there's a thing that's going to be packaged that's the package right so in here is the source so if you want to make exactly the same thing but then for antergos or for centos or for nixos or for manjaro etc the only thing you have to do is change a few uh, elements right if you change all the article stuff with something else it'll probably work package is what's going to be this thing is going to be packaged in a, uh, a file and it's called tar.xz inside you'll find you fetch arco get the user in bin and here is you fetch arco so we can already try it out if this thing is is working or not if it's, it's the good copy right so this is what we want i just ran it and in the share, in the Arco Linux, in the licenses, in you fetch Arco, that is not my license, but his license. Joe Challenger, permission to use copy modify distribute the software for any purpose with or without fee is hereby granted. Okay. So everything is cool and everything is working. And that's how you start uh, by, well, figure out how to work with these package splits. And this is, I think, a pretty a good exercise, an easy exercise to start with. If you say, okay, I've, I've seen the package build. There are now two package builds around, one for ufetch, one for ufetch arco. And if you then say, let's try make something for, I don't know, ufetch anything you like, right? Uh, another distro, then it's time to figure that out and use that um, knowledge to make a new package build and, and try it out. Okay, I think um, that concludes, concludes this video. So, by the by, if you want to install this package, you need to do this. You fetch Arco Git, just install it. Yep, and then you fetch Arco. And here it is, another new thing. Let's, uh, as a last incentive, go and have a look at ErkoLinux.com. I'm going to update the machine all in one. Have a look if you can find AIO all in one and everything gets an update. All right, have fun uh, figuring out package builds, guys. Cheers.